everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl sister girl on films and we are back with another episode of the ruler thursday know your eyes are not deceiving you we are finally watching the hand that rocks the cradle listen listen linda listen now when i say this is probably the highest requested movie for thriller thursday on my channel i'm not exaggerating i've probably under every single video somebody says hand rocks the cradle hand rocks the cradle hand rocks the cradle i get it i have been wanting to watch this movie um as a thriller thursday watch for probably since i started the series on the channel honestly i don't even know when that was yeah we might be about a year in who knows hand that rocks the cradle i haven't seen this in a very long time i have been asking for this damn movie y'all better pull the hell up and watch it <laughs> so y'all already know what to do go ahead and get yourself something to drink i just have me some water get yourself something to snack on I actually have some fruit over here i'll be snacking on periodically throughout and let's finally go ahead and get into the hand that rocks the cradle. Y'all better run these comments up. Y'all better run these likes up. Y'all better share this video for real. The way y'all been asking for this reaction. <laughs> I'm playing with y'all. I wonder what made Ernie Hudson audition for this role. First, they were hesitant to cast a black uh, actor in the part. It wasn't written for a black actor. It was written for a um, small Irish guy. That's what the script called for. And so I had to kind of say, no, I can do this role. This role is, this is who this guy is. But it, it took a it took some doing to get them to finally give me the role. Maybe he wanted to have like a he didn't want to get typecast after doing <laughs> Ghostbusters, maybe? And I must say right there. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing here? Mommy? It's okay, sweetheart. Honey, this gentleman says the better ways society sent him? Better, better day. I'm sorry, better day society? Yeah. Yeah. The better day society helps place the mentally disabled with employment. I live there. I try knocking. Solomon, right? Uh, Renee Peterson told us about the work you did over there. I'm Claire. And uh, this is my husband, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Met outside. <laughs> And this is Emma. Hello. It's nice to make your acquaintance, Emma. Yeah, listen. <clears throat> to my fellow, to my fellow black people. <laughs> I, I know, I, I, I know we are here with this. I already know we are here. But I'm just going to say this so that we all can continue to watch this movie and enjoy it. Ernie Hudson, audition for that role. He knew what the role was. He took the role. If this role had been a white man, it would still be sad. It would still be like questionable. Like, why did we need a mentally challenged character in this movie? It's across the board. So I just, I want us all, black people, look at me. <laughs> we gotta let this go. <laughs> it, gets, it gets a little bit worse a little later. We can do this, okay? We are one. Come on, y'all, sing it together. Mm, mm, mm. We are one. We can do this. This is the first exam of Dr. Mott? <laughs> yes, it is. Um, the doctor who delivered my little girl retired, and Dr. Mott was kind enough to take me on midterm. Well, he's one of the best. Expecting his own, you know. Oh, really? This is Bartell. Hi. Hi, I'm Dr. Mott. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. So, 
How are we today? Just great. Uh, baby's kind of kicking up the storm all day. This is your second child. Well, you're kind of a pro at this, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I see you have a history of asthma here. Any problems? No, not at all. Okay, good. Why don't we take a look? Feet up. Oh, okay. I didn't think it was usual to give pelvic exams after the third month. Well, we won't do that again until the 36th week. But I want to make sure all my new patients have a full exam on their first visit. Mm -hmm. Doctor, it's Mrs. Miller. She's calling again for the test results. Why don't you go ahead and give them to her? Maria, when you're in the lab, would you call in the results of yesterday's Virapaps? Yes, Doctor. I will be so uncomfortable. Absolutely we'll not. With the breast exam. That's that's not how that goes. That's not how that goes. At all. Exam. I don't like this. Nip, 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 nip. Oh no, honey. I don't know if I could do this one. I don't remember this. He is assaulting her. Yeah, I don't remember this. He really just assaulted her. Ugh. Get him out of here. Disbar him. Take his license. Firing squad. Hang him. Castration. And then the power dynamic of the doctor. And he wouldn't do that. He has such a great reputation. He his patients love him. What? Oh, Michael. Honey, what's the matter? <laughs> Honey, what's wrong? Claire? Michael, go down there and it tear his head off. He wasn't examining me. It was like, um, he was getting off on it. I mean, I, what if I accused him and I was wrong? Girl, you're not wrong. And we have to file a complaint. Uh -huh. Oh, Michael, I don't, don't think I can do that. Right, I don't want to do that. Honey, listen to me. If we don't report this, he's going to do the same thing to somebody else. He probably already has. Dr. Victor Mott, Seattle gynecologist and obstetrician, was brought up today on formal charges by the district attorney's office. Good. The scandal began last week when one of Mott's pregnant patients went to the state medical board claiming that she had been sexually molested by the doctor during an examination. Since the patient's initial accusation, four more women have come forward. See? Alleging that they too had been sexually molested while in the doctor's care. Citing the possibility of criminal misdeeds, the state medical board turned the case over to the district attorney's office. Oh, you gonna kill yourself. Unavailable for comment. Mm, coward. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bitch, I don't give a fuck. Burning hell, bitch. That's how I feel. <laughs> That's how I feel. The suicide commission is quite clear. <laughs> However, we may be able to get the insurance company to return a small lump settlement. As you know, Mrs. Mott, although your husband had sizable assets, they've been frozen by the state. Frozen? This is normal procedure when the estate uh, is probably going to be sued by a number of sources. <laughs> oh, no. About to hold her down. Aww. Aww. That's sad, actually. To his direct to me. She's been so depressed she won't even talk. Let me try it. Oh, Jesus. Suits 
Claire Bartell has not filed a suit, although she was the first to accuse Mata. Hey, not releasing her information. Now. It was Bartell's initial accusation to the state medical board that prompted the other women to come forward. Now, see, I thought that they kept that information private. Not you didn't put her whole information. This the bitch that told everybody. This her. This her. about it how her start was it's kind of actually sad she had to find out her husband was a predator she lost her baby she lost her home she lost everything I mean I'm not saying like how she's about to act is like justified but I can see why she snapped <laughs> I'm building my own greenhouse and Although I'll just be right in the backyard, I'm anticipating being very, very busy. That's Joe. <laughs> oh, I'd love to meet him. If you can't, just wait till Michael comes home. Oh, uh, Solomon, this is Peyton. Peyton Solomon. Nice to meet you, Solomon. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, here she go. What a bitch. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. It was an accident. Anyone can have an accident. What do you mean by that? Peyton? Would you like to have dinner with us tonight? I'd love for you to meet the rest of the family. Tonight? I'd love to. Good. Say around 6.30? I'll be here. And then I even feel like even if her husband hadn't Here, let me help with that. Okay. offed himself, she never would have had this. I don't know. We didn't get to see the dynamic of their relationship, but I'm just saying if your husband is assaulting his clients, I find it hard to believe that he would have been a a very active father. Or at least like the leave it to beaver type dad. Yeah, Solomon, he can't believe it. <laughs> it's like this bitch. They say a wind chime helps a baby sleep. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we get you settled downstairs and then we'll hang it up outside the nursery. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, she's evil. <laughs> Poor Solomon. Hell, this heifer up to. I know she's gonna smother that baby. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, that's right. She starts breastfeeding the baby. Ciao. This movie's gonna piss me off. I already know it. I have to kill this bitch. I would have to kill this bitch. You will not be breastfeeding my child. What are, what are we talking about right now? I will have to behead you, ho. Cause what are we? Hell no. Nah. You know the kind of bond a mother develops with their child when they breastfeed. 
Hi. I don't believe we've met. I'm Marlene Craven. You must be Peyton. Oh, hello. Yes. Nice to meet you. Poison. Excuse me? The perfume. You're wearing Claire's perfume. Poison. Oh. Well, Claire needs me upstairs. Girl, what you got this little girl watching? Wait, Mom never lets me watch these movies. That's why we have to keep it a secret. Do you know what a secret is, Emma? Yeah. Something we can't any Wow. This bitch is diabolical. That's right. <laughs> now we have our own little secret club. That's our sign. <laughs> it was lots of fun meeting your Aunt Marlene and Uncle Marty. They've known your mom and dad a long time, huh? Aunt Marlene grew up with Daddy. They used to be boyfriend and girlfriend when they were little. Is that right? You never, ever let an attractive woman take a power position in your home. It's very bad business. <laughs> a power position. You heard what I said. What's that? Um, oh, you know, what's that saying? Um, the hand with the baby that, um, you know, that... Hmm? How much did you get for the Fletcher house last week? Uh, three and change. Hmm? All I'm saying is you have to watch your back. Marlene, I think I'm going to bum one of these. You're such a bad influence. He only smokes around you now. <laughs> One isn't going to kill me. Oh, wait, I got it. The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. Message! Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. Good morning. Lord, now she can be able to breastfeed her baby. The baby that already ate. Noticed anything different about Joe? No, no, I haven't. Why? Is something wrong? No, I was just wondering. I'm real tired. Michael was up all night finishing his EPA proposal, and I got up at 4:30 to help him type it. I hope it works out. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. See you tonight. You're not gonna have any pancakes? No, I've got to go to Federal Express before I go to the lab. Well, why don't you let me take it? It's the last thing you need to worry about today. You sure you have the time? My proposal yeah. has to go out today. Okay. Oh, Thanks. God. Bye-bye. Bye, Michael. Oh. She ain't gonna make it to the Federal Express. <laughs> FedEx. Oh, root rod and <laughs> drainage properties. Why is she there? Why, why does Peyton even stay in y'all damn house? So is your greenhouse gonna be something like this one? Oh, well, hopefully. I get it, Nanny's like stay to help around the house, but she could take her ass home and then come back in the morning. You don't need her all night. Is there a bathroom here? Yeah. Why? Why is she there? What nannying is she doing right now? Why didn't she just drop that off before she went to the damn greenhouse? On the way to the greenhouse, let me run this by FedEx right quick and then we can head on over there. <sighs> Lord. Crazy, deranged, motherfucker. Girl, calm down. Baby. Michael's proposal. I can't find it. But it was in your purse. I saw you put it in there. Claire, are you all right? Alex. I'll be okay. Michael, it, it's just disappeared. I, I don't know. I just spoke to the manager in the restaurant when we had lunch. He said he'd call in the morning. What did they say when you called again? They said they'd consider it next quarter. But they said they'd consider it? Claire, come on. 
We've been over this. Look, everything is going to be okay. Michael, I'm so sorry. I know you are, honey. I know you are. It's a good man, Savannah. A good man. I'm going to get back to work, okay? I'm sorry. He is pissed. He is absolutely pissed. Michael, I'm worried about Joe. Why? What's wrong? Well, it's his eating habits. He's just not nursing the way he used to. How long has this been going on? It's not all the time, but a couple of weeks. Did you call the doctor? Yeah. What'd she say? Well, she said it's fine as long as he keeps gaining weight. I mean, this, if, if you need to get back at a bitch, this is the way you do it. <laughs> this is the way you get revenge. You take her whole family. God damn, this is diabolical. <laughs> you should let me in on where you do your hiring. Boy, shut up. Yeah, everything's okay. I just had an idea. You know, it's, it's Claire's birthday coming up, and I thought maybe it would be nice to throw her a surprise party. She's been feeling kind of low lately. Especially with this whole thing with your proposal. Think, uh, do you think Marlene would want to help out? Help out? You kidding me? She'll, she'll take over. <laughs> <laughs> well, then maybe it's best not to tell her it was my idea. Why not? I wouldn't want her to think I was competitive, you know, about Claire's friendship. I think you understand Marlene pretty well already. Solomon. Emma, why don't you go on inside? I gotta talk to Solomon for a minute. Okay. Okay. Are you a retard? No. Evil. Did you like looking at me? Did you like looking at me? Say no, Solomon. <gasps> in the scene where she confronts you in the yard and she slaps you, did she yeah. actually slap you? Because it looked like a real authentic slap. No, no. She, she, not only did she slap me, she wasn't supposed to slap me. There was no slap in the script. This bitch. My version of the story will be better than yours. And then that single little tear that falls. Oh, Solomon. Oh, you heard it. I will kill this bitch. Solomon, no! Ah, oh, Solomon! Are y'all okay? Do we need a second? Take a second. Take a second. That was, that was tr very triggering. I know it was. Take a second. Just breathe. All together now, we're going to breathe in through our nose. I'll throw my mouth. <laughs> okay, we can move on. Yeah, I know. It's a lot. I'm shaking on the inside, and I want to say things, but I'm trying to be politically correct. But I would scalp this bitch. I would cut her head off, take the insides out, put her outside of my house as my fucking Halloween pumpkin, her head, okay? That was the worst of it. Well, actually, <laughs> it's a little bit worse. I'm gonna keep checking in with y'all though. Make sure my people are okay. Solomon. You step inside for a minute? You ain't, why you gotta say it like that? You could've... Big guy. I was in charge of picking him out. <laughs> She's adorable. You're my friends. Oh my... I feel a little awkward 
bringing it up. I've been noticing some behavior that I, I feel might be inappropriate. I'm sorry, what do you mean, inappropriate? Something about the way he touches her. I'm sure you must have misunderstood. You're right. Solomon would never do anything like that. Besides, it would be obvious if Emma were keeping a secret from you. I'm sorry. Claire, just intercom conked out. I couldn't find any batteries in the kitchen. Do you think Solomon's got some in his cart? Well, uh, he's got everything else in there. Let me go take a look. We good. Okay. We good. I see. We see each other. We see each other. We good. Final check-in. Are we okay? <laughs> I just got to check in with my people. Are y'all okay? If you have, if you have mentally disabled family members, are you okay? I've always had an issue with this, with this movie. I really have, which is why I'm like, did y'all remember any of this movie? Because y'all just kept talking about it. The whole Solomon storyline is just very hard to watch. But I get why this character is in here and why the storyline is there. Because again, it shows how like you would have to be a very sick person to attack somebody who's obviously mentally disabled mentally challenged um and then uh, set the frame them for child abuse and things like that so i get i completely understand why the storyline is in here it doesn't make it any easier to watch because i understand the point of it and maybe that's why it's supposed to make me feel icky on the inside but i just want to check in with y'all make sure are okay just let me know y'all are okay sometimes we need breaks okay <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Sweetheart, come away from the window, honey. Emma? She gonna be mad at you, honey. Come sit down. But at the same time, Claire, as a mother, did the right thing. Because... <laughs> You know, look, this bitch done got a whole, both her kids. <laughs> and you in here crying in the living room. Peyton might be one of the worst movies. I don't understand. Why did it take Solomon away? I guess your mommy didn't like Solomon very much. Oh my God. I wanted to help Solomon, but I was afraid she'd try to send me away too. The lies! There you the go, lies. this bitch. The lies. Ooh. Ooh. That your mommy wasn't mean like mine. I didn't have a mommy. She died when I was very little. Your mommy died? Then who took care of you? I had to take care of myself. Oh, well. She definitely knew about her husband's. If something happens to my mommy, predatory behavior then. Take care of me. Of course I would. This is some some nasty work. <laughs> this is some nasty work. Oh, sure, it's a sweetheart. Hello. Oh. Oh, he's getting so big. He's like a different kid every time I see him. 
He's got a great set of lungs on him, though, doesn't he? Oh, what's the matter? Want to go to Peyton? No, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, little one. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> Peyton is the devil. What is that annoying noise? Wind chimes. It was a gift from Peyton. Charming. Well, I gotta go. When you have a baby, you start to feel tired and unattractive and fat. <laughs> I'm sure Michael is as attracted to you now as he ever was. A man never loses it for his first love. But I wasn't Michael's first love. No? You never guess who was. Marlene? Am I right? Yeah, how did you know that? Wild guess. You know, it's a shame Michael's not here. He's going to miss it. What's he doing so late at the lab, anyway? That's a good question. I'm going to get him a call. Baby. Want a shirt? Lifestyle? Yeah, and this jacket here kind of smells of cigarette smoke. I didn't know your husband was a smoker. He's not. Well, what's this? Mrs. Bartell, your husband's got a habit he's keeping from you. <laughs> Sir. Um, let's go inside. Emma, I want you to go upstairs to your room and play. But, Mom. Emma, please. Go upstairs. Because I haven't seen this movie in so long, I forgot how diabolical Peyton was. I forgot how like just every piece of Claire's life, she just dismantled it one person at a time. Michael, how could you do this? talking about you've been lying to me honey just calm down don't tell me to calm down you son of a bitch honey you don't understand i understand you've been fucking marlene all right claire that's enough there are people in there oh that's right <laughs> oh my god Everybody's in there. <laughs> oh, that is so embarrassing. Just dig a hole in the dirt, in the earth, and just let me jump in it and see how far I go. Let me go to the earth's core because this is embarrassing. Surprise. <laughs> hey, y'all. I was just playing. Surprise. Surprise. Girl. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> and I appreciate just the psychological aspect of all of this where Peyton didn't have to like kill anybody she didn't have to do none of that she just plants seeds in Claire's mind and Claire runs with it without questioning anything <laughs> you're a dummy bitch you will never know shit <laughs>
wait a damn minute. <laughs> wait a damn minute. Why did we need that scene twice? <laughs> okay, editing. There you go. Gotcha, bitch. Now she gonna fuck around and, and disclose it at the worst time possible. Hello, Marlene. Claire? It's Marlene. Claire? Marlene, is everything all right? No. I need a doctor. No of any Mrs. Oh, my God. Where's Claire? She's in the greenhouse. All because Claire had the courage to stand up against her abuser. And Claire said no more. And so now she got to be subjected to all of this? Crazy. Crazy. Oh, child, this is so evil. And you know she got one in her purse. Can't get to the purse. Acted the hell out this road. I don't. I don't care. She acted the hell out this road. Oh my god. She acted the hell out of this. Everybody can't do this. Everybody can't do that. I would have been. Uh! They were like, Errol, are you supposed to act like you can't breathe? Oh. <laughs> I would have blown it. Claire. Honey, can you hear me? You're safe now. You're in a hospital. Just try and rest, okay? Face. I can't believe she's gone. Come inside. Oh, Lord, here we go. There's only one woman. Boom! <laughs> Get out of here, bitch. It ain't you, ho. Mush her ass. Let me tell you something. Get Home. Is it? Home. Oh, Michael, before I forget, the school board secretary called. So the meeting's now Thursday night. I wrote it in your book for you. Okay, great, thanks. It's a fundraiser thing. 
Peyton heard about it when she picked up Emma. Oh, you said she could wear it. Oh, you said I could borrow it. Is it all right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'll be right back. I just want to make sure I don't burn dinner. It's great to have you back. Marlene told you, don't have no hoe in your house, honey. Oh, now she didn't put a little border up. You like it? Peyton did it. <laughs> no, I hate it, actually. You asked me first. Right. I thought it would be a surprise. I don't want you them kind of surprises. Like Claire, if you don't, I'll never take it. Down. Immediately. It's okay. All right, well, I'll put your things away. Given her these listings notices she had asked for, she looked at them. A minute later, she hurried out of here. This seems unlikely. These? Those are the ones. It's a strange looking toy. What is it? Mm-hmm. Good old breast pump. Now she knows. She was lactating. She used it to keep her milk. <laughs> Finding out about your bitch ass. But she gotta play it cool. Marlene, she came in too hot. She came in way too hot. Where are our friend? Ma'am, calm down. Where have you been? Michael, I'm gonna. Here we go. Hi, Claire. We were worried about you. Slapper. <laughs> ah, even better. Oh my God. She's Dr. Moss' widow, Michael. She's what? Get out of our house. Oh, too late now. She She's didn't. Me, Michael, just like you said, you. She doesn't realize how I've come through for this family. You have to tell her, Michael. Tell her about us. There's nothing to tell. You should leave, Peyton. Period. He got his wife back. You told me there was only one woman for you. See, Peyton, she thought that Michael was like her raggedy ass husband. Cause I'm sure he had all kinds of women other than the ones he was abusing. And she thought, she didn't know what it was like to have a husband in the house that was gonna be faithful to his wife. That was gonna love his kids. That was gonna protect his house. That was going to forgive his wife when she lost some papers. That was going to show up for her. That was going to resist her temptation. She ain't know what she was up against. Maybe. She, she, she ran up on a real one. And now her little, her little plan ain't going to work out the way she thought. Because Michael ain't no bitch ass like her husband was. And Claire. My wife. Period. Yeah, Goldilocks. Get out of here. I'll just get my baby and we'll be on our way. Your baby? I, I mean, I'll just go get my things. Michael. You don't understand. I mean, leave now. We'll send your things. You're right, Michael. That's best. I'll go get my baby. Girl, you take your ass up there you want to. You will go flying out a window. Find something safe to do. Because playing with me ain't it. Painting the keys. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. You've all been so kind. Mommy, Daddy, what's happening? Emma, stay there. It's okay, Emma. Mommy and Daddy want me to leave. 
Goodbye, Peyton. Ooh, Peyton! <laughs> Get your ass off my damn fucking porch, bitch. Call the police. Claire, calm down. Michael, you don't know what she's capable of. Right, just calm down. We have her keys. I think she rigged the greenhouse. I think she rigged the greenhouse for me. All right, get the kids' things. We'll go to a hotel. Don't go. Oh, my God. Michael. Gun. That's why you need a gun in your house. Peyton. <laughs> you kick Peyton out. You hear music where she used to be. And you go down there unarmed. Stupid. Pop. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to lock this door behind me and don't open it until I come back. Do you understand? Yeah. Stay here. Oh. Oh. Another jump scares in this. Michael. I'm okay. She's in the house, Claire. They are? I mean, I guess he could have landed in a way to break both his legs. I'll go with it. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. 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 Down. One or two guns in the house, this would end real Anna? quick. Teach your babies how to shoot Great properly. Bad, Teach them gun safety. Bow. Would have shot this hoe. Emma would have been good. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Again. Dog. Come on, man. Don't hurt my mommy. My husband makes love to you. It's my face. He sees. Oh, really, bitch? When your baby's hungry, it's my breast that feeds him. Look at you. Oh, okay. Push comes to shove. He can't even breathe. Oh! Cold blooded. <laughs> Tricked you, bitch. <laughs> I feel And go down there and punch her in her face, just to make sure. <laughs> I go stomp this bitch out. We gotta be crystal clear. She's dead. <sighs> now go down there and tell them people, I ain't touch your daughter. Clear my record. I know I'm still working, but 
clear my shit up. I need you to do something for me. I, I need you to take Joey downstairs. Joey, I'm not supposed to handle a baby. That's okay. I trust you, Solomon. Come on. Oh, boy. All right, now, enough. <laughs> this nigga down in the basement with broken legs. What? <laughs> Right, y'all so that was the hand that rocks the cradle and yeah i mean it was as entertaining as i remembered it being um the scenes with solomon were as uncomfortable and cringe as i remember them being okay so no, i'm glad solomon wasn't the one that threw her ass off the window although i wish he had been but that wasn't, that wasn't true for his character. But I feel like, you know, Peyton didn't get what she really deserved at the end. I really wanted Claire to like dog walk her ass. Mud, mud stomped this hoe. Like, I want her to be beat the fuck up and then pushed out the window. But we can't have it all. You know, Claire didn't have that grit in her. Um, but overall, you know, Hand of Rocks the Cradle is a classic. It is a very entertaining thriller. Uh, the just the the mental games and the the psychological aspect of it is very heavy in this uh, which I appreciate you know it wasn't just cheap kills and everybody getting set up to be killed and this way and that way but Peyton really like being maniacal in how she attacked Peyton, uh, Claire's life and was really like hell bent on taking over her life um, and if it wasn't for the fact that Claire had a strong ass husband, maybe Peyton would have got away with all of it. If, if Michael had been weak, like that damn Dan in Fatal Attraction, Peyton would have got over on, in that one, okay? Peyton would have went ahead and, and, and ran a Boston. You know, if you play spades, you know what that means. She would have ran a Boston on Claire. <laughs> if Dan had been the husband but she had reliable Michael and so because she had a strong man on her side that had her back through thick and thin she was able to to defeat the evil Peyton <laughs> yeah so y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below what you thought about the hand that rocks the cradle um I mean it has it, some issues but overall it's a solid movie very very solid so y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below and as always y'all like this video share this video subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna see y'all next time for another episode of thriller thursday bye